All right, so tell me the the PCP story, the Terminator Two day. I'm trying to remember how the day started. Oh, the day started like this: um, Terminator Two was going to come out, right? And it was coming out. Friends, it was out. It was that, already out. It's it been out. out. So this is the summer of 1991. Yeah, 91 or 92 when it came out. It was 91 because I remember. And my friends and I, we went to go see Terminator Two at the drive-in movie theater. Okay, and I was dressed like exactly like him. Like the Terminator. Yeah, except I didn't have a leather jacket. Just had a white T-shirt and the, the boots and the jeans. <laughs> Got it. I would think I was going to take somebody's jacket like just like him at the end of the night. Sure. <laughs> but um, my friends and I were drinking um, Long Island iced teas. The ones you buy at the liquor store, they're like 32 ounces, like this big. Mm-hmm. And we poured, we just snuck it. Well, we were drinking them there and we were smoking PCP at the movie theater. PCP. Again. Yeah. People who don't know what PCP it was a it's it's angel dust. They called it angel dust. They called it PCP. It was embalming fluid. It was literally what they use. It was formaldehyde or like what they. It's embalming fluid powderized. I always thought it was elephant tranquilizer. I've heard both. I have yeah. no idea. There was this guy who came out of prison. I always say like this old motherfucker, but he was like thirty. <laughs> <laughs> That's old enough. I was 21. I was barely 21. And um, he started like, um, I was just hanging out by myself. You know, after the Terminator sh- movie, mm-hmm. I left my friends. I was not with my friends anymore who saw the movie by myself. And this guy, he'd been like picking, bull- trying to bully me or trying to give me like backhanded compliments, you know, and be mean. And, um, He's not funny like me. Like right. I, I could, I could hurt his feelings. Yeah. So I finally did. You know, I said, "Listen, man," and I hurt his feelings. Everybody laughed. They laughed. He got upset, and he and he punched me in the face right away. And had a, my eye. Well, I was dizzy, man. Like you're not on anything at this point. Well, I'm on PCP. Oh, you're on PCP. All right, great. So he punched you in the face. He punched me in the face. And by the way, on PCP, were you funnier on PCP? I'm just curious, comedy-wise. I was funny, but all the jokes that were coming now were like, oh, we're going to have to fight now. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he said, like if you were, he's told me, um, oh, man, you ain't shit. He goes, that's not what your wife said last night, man. And everybody goes, ah. Oh. Got it. He punches me, and then I punch him. But he's getting the better of me because he, he, he's a way better fighter. I'm one of those guys that are, That'll just punch you in a fit. When I was at that age, I was one of the guys that would just cheap shot you. Got it. Or while you're talking, I you knock you out. Got it. And I won the fight. Great. Like that. And that's the way I lost fights too. Like somebody knocked me out. Oh, you would get cheap shotted. Yeah. They would flip at you. They but would... I, I think I I'm the one that try to cheap shot him first. So that's what happens. Okay. And I missed. Oh. I was on PCP. <laughs> Damn it, PCP. So when I missed, he punched me in the back of my ear. And then when I turned around, his other hand hit me in the face, like right in my eye. And then since I'm not a fighter, I went, I, I reached out to rub my hand instead of blocking my face, he hit me again with the other, on the other side of the face. <laughs> so by this time, I just grabbed him by the head and I just bit his ear. Sure. This is 1991, Mike Tyson. Yeah, it was six Tyson. years before Mike Tyson. Some nasty stuff in there. There need to be a bite almost. When I saw Mike Tyson do that, I, I knew that um his mentality in his head, like why he did that. What he is knew, it? He's You're, losing. Yeah. He's losing. And you just not, it, now animal you're gonna instinct go for kicks your, in. Yeah. You're losing and in your head you feel you're gonna die or this person is gonna kill you. Yeah. So you gotta go for your animal instincts. Yeah. Before I held him, he was already was choking me already. Like when I was holding him, he let go. I, he, he got out. You little devil, you. He got out. And then he was choking me. And that's when I saw his ear and I put his head closer to my mouth. And I bit it. And did you? Oh, he screamed, man. Did you take a chunk of it? Yeah, I just spit it out. How much? It was like a the tip where the earring goes. Got it. That's pretty thick. Yeah. And I. Man, a lot of blood came out. It was all over my shirt. Then um, I started just, I took my belt off, started whipping him like a runaway <laughs> slave, you know, in front of everybody. And he's there. He's got 
half his uh, quarter, a third of his ears gone, or a, a quarter, and you, and he doesn't run away. No, man, this guy's a this guy's a hardcore gangbanger. Yeah. So, and then you took off your belts and your and I started whipping him, and the rest of that is a uh, blank to me. Got After it. that, I don't know what happened. Yeah. Okay, then what do you do? I blanked out for, I guess, six hours maybe because I don't remember anything after that six hours later. So, like, you remember just, like, your point of view, yeah. whip, whip, dudes, da 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 and then you come to, and where are you? I'm holding a, a hot beer, a 40 ounce, and it's, like, half full, but it's really hot, but I'm still drinking it. The hot. sun is hitting my face. It's day. Yeah. So it's, it's like the next day? The next day. It's, like, 90 degrees. It's hot. My shirt looks like um, someone threw a bowl of menudo at me, but it's all blood, you know, and my shoes are bloody. And then somebody told me, like, hey, man, you oh, I, I, I have a big black eye, too. I look like I'd be, I, I look bad, too. My face looks bad. And everybody's telling me, man, he goes, you should clean up. He goes, you don't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, you should see the other guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't say that. Then I, I go, what happened, man? I told him what happened. He goes, what do you mean what happened? He goes, you started finding that guy, and after that, you started chasing you started chasing everyone with your belt, not just that guy. You're like Larry from the from the Little League game. I'm like Pooty Tang, bro. Bye bye. Yeah, shit. <laughs> You're Pooty Tang. <laughs> Sad out say. So okay, but didn't you then like you the guy was after you? I kept partying more, two more days. Two more days. So yes. there was just a way to stay. There were enough available people to fuck with, to party with. Oh, yeah, with. man, the housing projects. So you just be like, what do you, and you kind of know everybody? Yeah, I kind of know everybody. And you have a good, your reputation is like you're a funny dude? I'm a cool guy. Yeah. Cool. All right, great. So, and I, I'm, I'm also part of another, a different gang from that neighborhood, too. So you're two timing? Yeah, I, I live in a, I live in a gang. Now. I live in a, with a, with a gang that I'm not from. But my mom lives there, so they don't do me nothing because my mom lives there. Great. But as I grew up with everybody there, except right. the guy that, that I beat up. I didn't grow up with him. He was in prison the whole time. So now, when then, so you keep drinking, smoke more PCP? Smoking, or? And and um, so one of, the, one of the, his, the guy's friends comes up to me with a bat, and he swings it over my head like at full speed, and he misses. And um, I told him, hey, man, what the fuck? And then... Um, uh, I, I threw my friends at him, man, fuck, get this motherfucker off me. And then they just take the bat away from him. And he's an older guy, too. And, um, oh, you're, you're, oh, man, you fucked up my friend, la, 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 la. Oh, man, you, you sent him to the hospital. He's in there with broken ribs, la, la, la. And I said, I didn't know that dude was in the hospital. Yeah. Like, this whole time, I didn't know. Like, this whole time, like two days of just partying. The cops are telling him at his bed, press, are you gonna, who, who did this to you? Tell us, press charges. Is he a slave owner? You're covered in whip scars. Um, Is it a T-100? Who did it? <laughs> yeah, so, so, so. He says, no, I don't know who did it. Okay. And then he goes, and then, because he's going to handle it himself yeah. when he goes to the hospital. And then, so the guy swings a bat. You hear about the guy being fucked up. Are you apologetic or are you like oh i gotta get the fuck out of here oh hell no man i'm like he got he got we deserved got it okay street you know man yeah yeah was, yeah because that, that, uh, you live in that neighborhood all you think about oh he got he, he he had it coming you know yeah okay so then what happens my mom speaks to father greg boyle from homeboy industry you tell your mom what happened no nah, i don't know what happened they already know okay they saw the clothes okay they saw the clothes they said well he he, he either killed somebody or he murdered they almost he's killed in, him yeah he's in, he fucked he fucked somebody up and he's gonna be in so a lot of trouble now or get murdered now these guys all wanna like beat me up and I'm not really afraid cause I didn't think it was that big you know big of a deal but it was a big deal and my for my mom to go talk to a catholic priest sure and they go to my house Look how stupid I am, okay? I have uh, two cousins who live in, like, Santa Paula in Ventura County, and they're well off. Like, the, their dad is a homeowner, and he built homes everywhere. Like, 
he was hired one time to go build homes in Vietnam for the people, like his construction company. He's big, man. Yeah. This is how stupid I was. I thought that, um, because we went to their house to um, hang out. Yeah. This is after it, when they were looking for me. I thought that when we went to their house, I thought that I was going to stay there like Will Smith and a French Prince of Bel Air. <laughs> you have the right house. I am Jeffrey, your uncle's butler. Oh, okay, well, uh, cheerio and all that rot tonight. Opportunity. Bring the horses around, would you? <laughs> That's it. this is after you bit the dude or just okay after. got it. like a few days after, after like all right well this is I I I lucked out I thought I was gonna live there and live in a construction company uh huh and what was actually start happening? off picking you up just, nails you just happened to be there they your mom just my mom my dad took me there because we we're gonna that's my dad's cousin but nah man they didn't take me there okay and then how's Greg Boyle get involved so. Father Greg Boyle drives me to to the um, to a meeting at a church in Narcotics Anonymous, and then I intro they introduced me to the the pastor from the rehab, Jesse, and then they take me to rehab. And beyond the like an ambush, though, because I never agreed to go. Yeah, you just told me to pack your stuff. You're leaving. You got jumped into rehab. Yes, basically. And do you do you think that was right? Like looking back, are you like, oh yeah, I was a narcotic. I I did belong in NA. Now I think when I think about it, yeah, I think it was the right thing to do. I didn't want to be there. Right, but you had a drug problem. Yeah, I was smoking crack a lot back uh, afterwards. I went and I got a crack binge after the meth. <laughs> yes. or, I'm sorry, after the PCP. Yes, uh, before Greg. Boyle. After I was jumped for doing all those doing them extra drugs, I kept doing them. I didn't care. You didn't learn your lesson. Yeah, and then I was doing. Uh, People would give me crack to sell, and I'll just smoke it, and and I just well, what take the loss, beat his ass, you yeah. know. But then it, it got to too many people like that, so I would go to rehab. <laughs> you must have it sounds, like, sounds like you got good at getting your ass whooped. Yeah, like you kind of know. What are some tips if you're getting your ass whooped? Just cover up, or oh man, if, if it's five of them, try to get too close to the biggest one and cheap shot him first. Like knock, like try your hardest to knock him out while he's talking, okay. and then when he's down, go for the smallest one right away. And then you got the middle guy, and he's gonna be too afraid to get knocked out, so he probably won't jump in. <laughs> Are you an elbow person or a fist person? Fist, yeah, man. I don't, yeah, I have a broken finger. I have no knuckles anymore from fighting, from not knowing how to punch. <laughs> <laughs> Because I guess you watch MMA now and like Nate Diaz, like the way the, the, yeah. it's the way they hold their hands. And when you know when you don't know how to fight, I guess you don't close your fist right, so you broke you break a finger or you break a wrist, you break your hand. Yeah, that's me. Hey, did you like that? Did you like that? Yeah, did you like it though? You want more? Don't want to work? Would rather watch videos of me grab assing with people? First of all, go up here to subscribe and then go up here to uh, watch more clips. This is like when the weatherman says that there's a high pressure system coming in. Although I'm not really used to the green screen.